Michelle is camping out on a billboard. He'll be there day and night for a week raising money for a great cause. New this morning, Dan Cochelle is live to tell us about his ambitious endeavor. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Patty. Thank you very much. I'm on the ground right now, but coming up here uh, in about 30 minutes, I'll be going up on the lift, uh, and I will be staying up on it for about eight days. As you can see, there's a porta potty, a television, a uh, couch, and the whole nine yards. I have Shannon with me right now from Karen Share, and this is uh, this isn't the billboard I'll be living on, no. but this is a great cause. What? Are you asking people to do here at the, the flea market right in front of the Mine Caesar Haunted House? We're just asking folks to come on down, bring non perishable food items, uh, make cash contributions, check contributions, go to carryo.com to make credit card donations, and just help us get ready for the holiday season. Now, the people in the back of me are obviously with, uh, with the Mine Caesar Haunted House, and uh, they're going to be here to protect me through the night. All right, we want to bring in Arlene from Lynn's Electric. Lynn's, uh, you're going to be making a check presentation to kick off this fundraiser. That's right, Dan. On behalf of Lens Electric, we'd like to present Karen Share with a check for $200. Thank you. And we're challenging every Southern Colorado business to, to either match or exceed that donation. Wow, $200, that's a good that's start. That's absolutely fabulous. $1 is five meals to an individual, so we're off to a great start. Excellent. We're going to be here all week long. I'll be living on the billboard 24 hours a day. Uh, it's going to be great. We've got a lot of sponsors to thank, including uh, obviously the flea market. we got Mind Caesar Haunted House, Plato's Closet, uh, Nevada Auto Sales, Taffy Advertising, just to list a few. Uh, we've got friends like this. They're going to be helping protect me through the night tonight, <laughs> and it should be a lot of fun. Remember, you can bring a non perishable food. Food item as well to Mind Caesar Haunted House for a discount to get in, and it's going to go to a great cause. We'll be telling you much more as we go along through the week. I'm getting ready to go on the lift. In the meantime, Dan Cochelle at the flea market on KRDO News Radio, 105.5 FM and 1240 AM, and News Channel 13. Patty, back to you. All right, thanks, Dan. We wish you the best of luck. Absolutely. And Dan Cochelle, who of course is living on a billboard right now, was begging, pleading with me to give him some nice weather. And I think that it has worked out pretty well. I was trying to get some snow up there for him just to make it more interesting. But as it turns out, summer like temperatures will continue for a little while. Anyway, here's a live stream of Dan sitting on that billboard. This is new this year at Mine Sees Your Haunted House. It's the first annual scare for care and share food and donation drive. And of course, our own KRDO News Radio anchor Dan Cochelle, he's living up there until this Saturday. Uh, that billboard, by the way, is located in front of the Colorado Springs Flea Market, which is the home of Mind Seizure. He'll be uh, inviting listeners to drop off food and cash donations to help benefit the folks at Care and Share. So if you get a chance to go out and visit him, give him a hard time, rise him for living up on the billboard, and keep your distance. I don't think he's showering very often. He's at 52. Hi. He does, and we're not really expecting much over the next several days. Uh, Dan Cochelle asked me yesterday if I could turn down the thunder and the wind today a little bit. Of course, he's sleeping up on the billboard. There you go. It's getting his afternoon nap. You can see how tough this is. <laughs> if you've just joined us and you're not sure what we're talking about here, this is new this year at Mine Sees Your Haunted House. It's the first annual Scare for Care and Share Food Donation Drive. KRDO News Radio anchor Dan Koshel. You see him taking a snooze right there. He'll be living on that billboard for the next uh, several nights. Oh, he waved. How about that? He's waking up. He'll be there through Saturday. Um, he's inviting anybody to help out the folks at Care and Share, drop off food and cash donations at that billboard, which, by the way, is located at the Colorado Springs Flea Market on East Platte. Has easy access in and out. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit delayed. Has easy access in and out. You just got to drive through and do your thing there. Apparently, they also have a walkie talkie sort of set up so that you can talk to Dan. So go wake him up from his nap. Put him to work. He's not obviously working too hard right now. The economy has left too many people without food, among other things. To bring major attention to a massive problem, Dan Koshel from KRDO News Radio is live atop a billboard where he is living for a week. Dan. Yes, I'm, I've actually brought my home down for this uh, TV uh, hit here on News Channel 13, but I'll be going up here very, very soon. I'm here at Platt and Powers, right in front of the flea market, to raise awareness for the hungry in our community. Karen Share is uh, starting Karen Share Week, where you can make non perishable food donations from our location here. We're right in front of the Mind Caesar billboard uh, on uh, Platt Avenue. I've got uh, Josh and Josh with me from Mind Caesar Haunted House. And first of all, thanks for being a part. How, how's Mind Caesar uh, part of the Karen Share Week? 
Well, you know, we all, we obviously know that there's hunger in the community, so we want to uh, offer discounted tickets if you come down and you bring some canned food. So you bring some canned food down to uh, down to this location, and we'll give you ten dollars and fifty-five cent tickets. Excellent. Now, Josh, you're the owner of the of uh, Mind Caesar Haunted House, and uh, is this your the haunted house scary? Uh, yes, the haunted house is very scary this year. Uh, we revamp it every year to make it new and exciting for the customers, so you can revisit year after year and get scared each and every time. And those are your real eyes. Uh, close to it. All right. Thank you. Thanks for being a part of uh, Karen Share Week. Right now, I want to visit with a representative of Karen Share here uh, in my house. As a matter of fact, Lisa Amon is with me right now inside, sitting on the couch that I live on here, John and, and Vita. I'm watching TV here on News Channel 13 as well. Tell me about Karen Share and the need in our community. Well, it's really been interesting, Dan. I mean, we have seen the need increase by about 26% over the last fiscal year. So we're really fortunate to live in a very giving community, and we have a lot of wonderful community partners. But we keep seeing an increase in need, and that's a sign of the times. So we're going to be here all week. Uh, you encourage people to get down here and uh, make donations here uh, at the billboard. Absolutely. And if you don't have food to donate, if you're not thinking about it and it's not top of mind, swing by anyway, and you can get of cash donations to Karen Share, 95 cents of every dollar that comes into Karen Share goes straight back into food, food procurement, and food programs. So, and we can stretch that dollar pretty far. Well, it is a really, there's a look at my uh, lift right there. That's what I live on uh, every day this week. But you can make a difference. Make your donation now here at Platten Powers at the Karen Share uh, booth. We've got the, uh, the semi trailer on display as well. We'll be open until 7 o'clock nightly. John Vitta, back to you. Hey. All right, Dan, good luck out there. Let's hope the, uh, the weather holds up. Uh, let's do. Okay. She's been the front runner since overnight. And Dan Koshell, who's living up on top of a billboard for Scare for Karen Share, has been complaining all day about uh, having to keep his little gear together up there. And you see, he's got the jacket on right now. Yeah, putting the hood on and all that stuff. You can help us out. Support Karen Share at Platten Powers in our drop off site. Dan needs to shave, actually. You can't tell from that shot there because of the, uh, the contrast there in the camera, but Dan's going to be up there until Saturday. We need you to stop by. Yeah, that's right, Dan. You do need to shave, and you probably need to shower, too. Storm Tracker 13 coming up next. Checking out Dan. Head of the storm. We've been checking in with him from time to time, and Dan, even though we're looking at you through a TV screen here, I'm actually pretty close to you, and I can smell you right now, man. You need to <laughs> shave. You need to shower. You're going to be uh, more efficient at this than me. Why don't you tell everyone about Scare for Karen Share and what in the world you are doing up there? Well, I'll tell you the reason why I'm up here on this uh, scissor lift, uh, 50 feet above uh, the ground, over at the uh, Mind Caesar Haunted House billboard, right outside the uh, uh, Colorado Springs Flea Market, is because well, let me turn down my TV because I've been watching you and I've been just uh, just admiring your work from uh, afar. But we're here raising uh, awareness for the need. Uh, in our community as far as hunger is concerned. We're um, getting everyone in Colorado Springs that uh, is, is worthy to come on over here and, and make a donation of a non-perishable food item. Uh, we're going to be here until 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. on Saturday collecting these non-perishable food items. To date right now, Matt, we have about 1,100 pounds of, of food that's been donated, and the cars have been coming fast and furious, but we need to just make this effort go all the way through the end of the week. Dan, this satellite uplink technology that we have here is amazing. I mean, you're done talking, and I'm still looking at you talking. It's a, a bit freaky, buddy, but uh, we all are very proud of you for what you're doing. I know your family misses you. I'm sure the first uh, docket when you get down is to get some good food and a shower, and I will actually see you out there Saturday morning. A lot of us, Dan, are going to come out and support you on Saturday. So, folks, as you head out and about this weekend, uh, head out to the east side of Colorado Springs and help out Karen Share. We would love to see you. Let's get to the weather now. 13, keeping you. Ahead of the storm. Of the storm. Dan Koshell, you talk about hardcore. Yeah, he wants you to come down to Platt and Powers, the drop off site for Scare, for Care and Share, trying to fill up the back of a semi truck. It's going to be there through the end of the week. If you stop by and drop some stuff off, we'll give you some goodies. And Dan had a rough night last night with that cold front coming in. I know, Dan, you only slept two hours, buddy. I know. We'll uh, get you some better weather here. Eh, maybe not. Track. 
is KRDO News Radio's Dan Koshell. He is still up there for Scare for Care and Share. You see the flag blowing around right there. Last time it was windy when we had the front move through earlier this week. He didn't get much sleep. I think tomorrow Dan actually may have to come down as we do expect some very gusty wind from thunderstorms as that system moves across the storm. I don't know what you say about this, but it's pretty obvious that Dan has lost it. He's made friends with the birds. He's been up there so high all week long. And I don't know if we're watching a Hitchcock movie here or what's going on, but Dan, good thing that the weekend is close, buddy. And you must have some food on your face or he's helping you. I don't, okay. Please help Dan out. Please help Karen share out as well. Platt and Powers, the mind seizure haunted house. The place to go. We've collected more than a thousand dollars and more than two thousand pounds of food. Look at that. I mean, the man needs your help. He, ladies and gentlemen, I just I don't know what to say about that. But Dan, we love you, buddy. Really, that's priceless stuff. <laughs> Across the eastern plains. 50 now on this Friday morning, October 8th, and uh, KRDO News Radio's Dan Koshell, nearing the end of a week-long effort to raise some food and money for care and share. And Rachel, we saw Dan earlier in the week when it got kind of windy, and he was holding onto his tent for dear life. I notice it's a little breezy out there again this morning. It's breezy out there this morning, this afternoon. It's going to get a little windier. So, Dan, if you're watching, uh, you might want to get a duct tape out and reinforce your little uh, home away from home as we move into this afternoon, because we're certainly looking for those winds to pick up. And we're also certainly looking for that chance for a few rain showers and thunderstorms. So maybe seal up any leaks you might have as well. Now, our own Dan Koshell has been hanging out on a billboard for a week, but it's all for a good cause. He's running, raising money for Care and Share, and today is finally his last day. He joins us live on the phone now. Dan, how are you doing out there? We miss you. Well, eight days later, Patty, and uh, I'm getting ready to come down. It's going to happen tonight on News Channel 13 at 6, so this entire day will be our final push to uh, raise as much food as possible for uh, the Care and Share week that we are going to be concluding here today. I'm outside the Colorado Springs Flea Market. If you're planning on coming out to the flea market today, today make sure you bring a non-perishable food item. It'll get you into the flea market for free. We're outside uh, the gates right by the Mind Seizure Haunted House uh, billboard. We're going to have News Channel 13's John Carroll. We'll have uh, Chief Meteorologist Matt Meister on hand a little bit later on today and other members of uh, KRDO News Channel 13 throughout the day today as well as uh, representatives from KRDO News Radio and Karen Chair will all be here to take your donations. So we are up and running right now. We're going to be going all the way till 6 o'clock later on tonight. Uh, if you'd like to log on to KRDO.com, you can check out the live streaming video that we have. Uh, we made it on the front page page of the Gazette. A lot of people are aware of this project. Now we need the f food donations more than ever. So we've already to date uh, raised a little over 2,000 pounds of food and uh, we uh, have also raised just uh, under $1,000 in cash. Today is the final push. Please bring your non-perishable food items to the uh, uh, location here outside the flea market. We're just west of the Powers off Platte Boulevard, and we'll be here all day long in this beautiful Saturday morning. Patty, back to you. All right. Thanks, Stan. Hang in there. We'll see you later today. And you can drop off your non perishable food items, as Dan said, at the billboard that's on Platte just east of Powers. Well, I'm going to be out there, so come say hi to all of us. Again, uh, many of us will be out there today.